This is just a quick introduction to gravity forms and just to show you some of the basic settings. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a new form and we're going to create a fake contact form that will be similar to the one you would have on your website for web visitors to contact you through. So we're just going to do that now. So we've got the normal links down the side here. We've got one for forms and this shows up once you install the gravity form plugin. And you want to go create new form. And it opens up this first screen. So you give your form a title and this is purely for you. So you know, have a reference for this form. So we'll call this contact test. And then you can put a description if you want. And again, this is just to show you what the form is about. But we'll just leave that blank now and create a new form. And once it does that, you come to this first screen. So you've got your form name there and you've got an ID number of your form here. And then there's nothing in here. And these are just examples just to show you how to use the page. But what you need to look at are all these fields down the side. So we've got the standard fields here that's open. We've also got advanced fields that have got things like email and website. We've got post fields, title and body and category. And these can be used if you're putting on a form to populate a post from the front end of your website. And you've got pricing fields, and this is if you've got some kind of e-commerce facility on your site and you want to sell something. But we're basically just going to be looking at these standard fields, although we may use these email and website fields too. So all you have to do is you have to put something in there. So what we'll do is have a area to put your name because someone's going to contact you. So just click on this single line text. And you just click that and it puts in the field here. So if we click here and it opens up the field options. So we've got a title here. So we'll just put first name. That's all we'll ask for from this person. And then we'll say this has to be a required field because we want people put in the name when you use this field. So there we go. Then what else you normally ask for is an email. So again, we could have just a single line field for your email or you can put an advanced email field in here and we'll do that. So I click an email and again, I want this to be a required field because we want to be able to reply to people. And then we will also have an area for people to put more comments why they're contacting you. And this again is a standard field and this time we put a paragraph text area so they've got more room to write something in there. And we'll call this um, comment. But this can be anything you want. And again, this will be a required field because we want people to fill this in. Right, so we've just got three fields there and that will do for a contact form, a standard contact form is what people can use. So we'll update this form and there we go. It's as simple as that. This form is now created. There are some other settings you can mess about with and we've got form settings and this is where you can change the title of your name on the label placement. So the titles of each of the fields, you can see where you want those placed. And you've got the form button, whether you want to text or you want to put an image and what you want to call it. So at the moment is submit, which is good. We'll leave that. And we've got all these other things here, but we'll just leave all those as default. We've got confirmations down the side here, but we've also, if you hover over this settings here, you can get these links too, but confirmations. And this is when someone submits the form. So if someone fills out your form and pushes submit, they will get a message. And by default, on the same page you submit the form, they will get this message, which is, thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. So what you can do is you can edit that if you want. I'm writing a different message here that we will get, or you can redirect people to another page. So when they fill out the form, instead of just getting the message on the page you are on, it will send them to a brand new page. So you need to create that page first and then put and direct them to that page. But we won't do that, we'll just leave it. And we've got notifications. And this is basically how you will get notified when someone submits it. So there's a default one set up and we'll edit this. And this is just the name of this notification. 
and what we'll do we'll send an email and it'll send it to admin so when you set up your user admin down here when you first signed up it'll be an email associated with so that's the email that will get sent to but you can just put in any email here and it will get sent to that and from so this was who it's from so you just put these in so when you get an email when someone fills out your contact form all these details will be filled in when you get it in your email inbox and there we go and you can fill out all these and you can put some messages and and whatever so you can change all those but again we're going to leave those as default okay so this forms all set up and now we need to embed it in a page so it shows up on our website so now we'll go pages and we'll add a new page I'll call this contact test and then you'll see we've got this add form button here and this only shows up once you've got gravity forms installed so I'll click this and then we've got an option to select the form because I've got several forms on my website it gives us all of them but we just want to do this contact test because that's the one we've just set up now we've got the option to display the title and the description I'm going to turn those off because I don't want to show them we'll just go insert and it puts in a short code here and that's the form done so we'll publish it and before actually I do that I'm going to make this a full width page so I don't want a sidebar on this page I'll update that and then we can view our page there we do we've got that's the name of our page and we've got this field first name email comments submit it's as simple as that so that's a really quick guide to show you how to put in a contact form and if you wanted you could add something here above it something like please in touch fill out the form below update and then if you look at the page got a title we've got all these fields and you can style this and I've got other videos which you should watch on my website about how to style these contact forms if you want to change how they look but we'll just leave it for now and just to show you we can do something here So we'll just put a very short message in there just to prove it works and we'll submit it and remember when we submit it we get this thanks for contacting us we'll get in touch with you shortly right there you go a quick introduction to gravity forms and how to create a contact form and put it onto your website and make sure you head over to www.neilcurtis.me where you'll find more guides and tutorials not just about gravity forms, but also about WordPress and web design and even graphic design. So hopefully I'll see you over there soon.